students let's now begin another unit of your syllabus that is emerging modes of business this is unit 5 so in this unit we are going to study the latest trends in business processes how business is carried out in the current times we every day we see all our needs all the things which we have to buy they are all available online and it has become very convenient very easy for us to purchase the things uh, everything of our uh, i mean requirement all our requirements all our needs what we have to do we search the stuff online we search for the services online and we can easily purchase them by making payments online so there is no uh, physical contact between a seller and a purchaser uh, we just have to make use of internet to find uh, the thing which we need and uh, we get all the details online and uh, uh, this data there is this uh, transfer of data from the seller to the purchaser and there is transfer of money from the purchaser to the seller this kind of transaction involves e-business which is quite a trending term these days e-business all the things like uh, uh, are carried out making use of internet making use of intranet and extranets as well and sometimes a combination of these and all the business processes they are possible to be carried out online electronically so this is what we call as e-business in the previous unit we had studied e-commerce so you have to be very clear about the difference between the two uh, in the unit one where you had seen the definitions the different terms commerce business trade right so what was the difference business is uh, a broad term which uh, includes commerce business ek bada term hai which involves production as well as uh, selling production com commerce is what commerce is about uh, 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 the trading basically the selling and purchasing but business involves production as well right so the same difference we are going to see uh, in e-business and e-commerce also e-commerce is what e-commerce is just selling and purchasing online it is between the uh, the supplier and the customer like so many uh, on, uh, websites are available so many uh, online selling uh, 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 like uh, uh, apps are there we have these uh, flipkart amazon so many uh, uh, i mean these kind of websites are available what we uh, what they do they perform e-commerce they uh, connect the sub, they connect the uh, producer with the customer all the things which are produced by different firms they can be sold online using these kind of uh, online uh, facilities like uh, flipkart snapdeal amazon so many are there so what they basically do different things which are produced by different producers they are made available to the customers so this is just selling and and purchasing so isko kya kahenge this is called e-commerce now what is e-business e-business is a broad term which will include uh, production of the goods also it includes the different business processes business ke bahut sari processes hote hain agar hum khali usko selling and purchasing ke terms mein dekhenge so that will be called commerce but within a business firm lots many business processes are there product development is there production is there inventory uh, then uh, human resource management so many business operations are there so they too can be carried out online they too can be carried out electronically making use of intranet internet extranet or some combination thereof to conduct business processes so this is what is known as e-business this is the basic definition commerce e-commerce is just selling and purchasing e-business is it includes other activities other business processes as well e-business includes a much wider range of business processes such as supply chain management electronic order processing and customer relationship management 
e-business processes therefore can help companies to operate more effectively and efficiently within a business firm the different operations can be performed digitally by transfer of data from one employee to another employee from one department to another department and this all comes under e business so this is the basic difference you should be very clear about what is e commerce and what is e business so how will you define e business all transactions carried out by means of electronic processing and transmission of data that we call as e business so this is all for today you need to be uh, clear about the definitions we'll study further uh, in the forthcoming lectures of this unit have a nice day